everyone. It's Henry from Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. I got a couple of packages in the mail recently. I opened them up just to see what it was. Um, a company called Snapfresh. They were established in 2018 and they're uh, into electronic, uh, electric landscaping equipment. And uh, so they sent me this box along with another smaller box the other day. I'm gonna do an unboxing right here in front of the camera for you. I know what it is, but I didn't open the box yet, only the outer, just to make sure what it was. Inside the box, seemingly from Amazon, I believe, they sell this item for $69.99 on Amazon. It's a small little box, right? And it's in a very fresh, green, environmentally friendly type box. You know, you look at it and it's clean, you know what I mean? Simple labeling, nice logo, snap fresh, cordless leaf blower, BBT YOR01. It's from Ningbo Baby Tech Technology Company Limited in Ningbo, China. Pretty small box for a leaf blower if you look at it, right? So we're gonna open it right now. Nicely packaged, safe. And I think they sell this um, right now on Amazon. Instructions. Get out of here! We don't need any instructions. Get about it. This here is the uh, bottom chute, right? Not chute, but you know, blower hose. Warranty card. Has uh, email and contact information for support. Service hotline. And this is it. This is your leaf blower. It's a little more than a foot long about uh, seven or eight inches high. The grip is rubberized. It has one lever, zero, one, two. It says snap fresh. 20 volt. Hundred and thirty miles per hour. Next in the box is another insulated package here. This kind of looks like the tube that you get from the paper towels when you're done. <laughs> it's just an observation. See now I thought this tube was the most extended tube, but it looks like it you can shove this one in here and it has a little notch there too snaps into place with a small opening this opening is about two inches wide and about one inch high who the hell needs instructions Okay, I was just about to say, hey, this thing doesn't snap into place. But I wasn't pushing hard enough. So that little package turned this into about three feet long, okay? Very light, I mean like super light, you know? I mean, I'm no bodybuilder, you know what I mean? But I mean like, I don't know, a pound or two maybe? See what this is. It's probably the battery. So it comes with a two amp, 20 volt lithium ion battery. Two amps, 20 volts. 
20 volts is like the standard these days. Uh, it probably comes uncharged. So I'll just shove it in here and see. Oh, it's already on. Okay, so this level zero, I mean, uh, lever zero on the zero setting is, is off. One. Okay. So one, whoa. Okay, so zero obviously is off. One is slightly on. I'm surprised it has any charge in here, you know? Let's see what this box is. This is the final box. This is probably the charger. So they sell this 20 amp, um, I'm sorry, 20 volt, two amp lithium ba ion battery separately for $39.99 on Amazon. So I mean the whole thing being $69.99 with a $39.99 um, battery, that's pretty cheap, $69, you know, especially if you want to go environmentally friendly, you know, with a low carbon footprint, 69 bucks with a charger and a 20 volt battery. I'm gonna go plug this in and put this battery in and I'll show you something else. We're gonna give it a full charge before we actually do any uh, hands-on blowing to give it a fair review. I'll be right back. So I just plugged in the uh, charger base over there, put the battery in it. Let's check out the second box that I have. The company that contacted me to do the review uh, told me that this is a new product that they have. I don't believe it's even out on the market yet, but because of their research and their feedback on this um, blower with the two amp 20 volt battery, they said that they could use more amps. So they sent me the new beta 20 volt battery, four amps, so double the punch. So now I've got a two amp battery, which comes stock with this uh, blower and an optional four amp battery that I could see is much beefier. You know what I'm saying? Heavier too. Seemingly almost twice the size too. So this 20 volt battery also has an LED monitor here where you can press the button and see if it's fully charged and it apparently it's fully charged cool the uh, other 2 amp battery has the same thing BBT DC 40A battery 12 volt lithium ion 4 amps like I said from Ningbo China uh, I don't know how much this uh, 4 amp battery goes for, um, but let me show you the charging stand. So here's where I charge all my chargers. Uh, you know, I've got my DeWalt, got my uh, Craftsman, got my Black & Decker, just shoved it in here. The charger base is right sitting there, right, right there, and as you can see here, it's charging. When I first tried to put this on, right, I was waiting for like a clip, you know, like when you stick it in, it goes click, it doesn't go click, it just slides in there like that. So obviously red charging, not charging. So let's compare the size. As you can see, it's a significant difference in size and weight. It, this is essentially twice the size of that and twice the weight. This one also has an indicator, battery indicator. And you press it and it's fully charged. How about that? So I guess it's a fair test if we just go ahead and try it right now. Excuse my driveway, it's a mess, but that's what a garage is supposed to look like, a mess, you know? Uh, we're about the end of September now, and uh, this is where uh, the East Coast of the United States 
you're getting a lot of foliage now, you know. Uh, actually, the foliage is more like in November, but the leaves do start falling uh, in September. And it is kind of cool today. It's about uh, 55 degrees right now, and it'll warm up. So I've got pretty good remnants of leaves here in the crevices from the wind and all. And what we're going to do is we're going to try this uh, two amp one. So it doesn't snap into the charger base, but it does snap into the device. So I'm going to first go into the garage and use it on the number one setting and try to blow some of the leaves out of my garage. So I'll be honest, and as you guys know from my other videos and other reviews of tools and items that I get from my daily videos on um, mowers and blowers, right, is that I don't sugarcoat anything. I've actually lost sponsors because I was so genuinely honest about how I felt about the item or the product. If the item sucks, I'm going to say to all you guys and tell you all, don't buy it, it sucks. But if it's something pretty cool and good, I'll tell you as such. So the number one setting is about equivalent to a strong hair dryer, <laughs> okay? Uh, I would think that you could only use that if you wanted to get very delicate areas where you didn't want to disturb anything, such as, let's say, you had dandelions growing all over the place, and when they progress to the puff ball, the cotton ball, you don't want to overblow that cotton ball because once that cotton ball, get out of here, crazy bees. You, if you, where was I? If you want to blow the cotton ball, forget about it. Each cotton ball that blows out, I mean, that's like 30 new dandelion seeds on your lawn. You know what I mean? Trouble. So, I mean, not that this would stop that from happening, but you know what I'm saying. The number one setting is for super delicate areas where you don't want to overblow. So we're going to try blowing it on the number two setting. Much better. All right, so I'll tell you this, okay? It's very light, one-handed, even the wrist. Look at this, I'm, like I said, I'm not a bodybuilder or anything like that, I'm not very strong, but I can just hold this with my wrist, no problem. It's like two pounds, you know? So it's very light, very convenient to use, and it's got the enough power to blow leaves out of your garage, no problem, you know? Um, Let's swap it with the 4 amp battery, see about the weight and the power. So like I said, there's a little thing that you depress here, button, pulls right out. Just pop the new one in there. Let's see it on setting one. About the same. about the same, but I it probably um, lasts twice as long as this one, you know? So it's always good to have two batteries because once you deplete the power out of one and you're not finished yet, um, you can pop in your other battery with probably twice the amount of uh, power time. So you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna um, try this right now and blow the remainder of this stuff, right? And then we're going to pop this two amp one back in and I'm gonna use it until it dies. I'm gonna just blow my lawn until it dies. We'll time it and see how long it takes, okay? So let me blow out the rest of this.
So I've been doing this for about five to 10 minutes and the battery st still seems like it's, you know, pretty strong, you know, just like when I first started. So I haven't seen a uh, depletion of power from the uh, use of it for 10 minutes. Uh, I read online that it probably lasts about 15 minutes and then the uh, new battery would probably, if you use logic, it'll last at least double, you know? But um, I'll tell you this though, the four amp battery doesn't give this any more blowing power. It is only long, longer lasting than the two amp one. So if you ask me if I would spend the money and go get the four amp one, I would probably say no. I would just buy two batteries, two two amp ones, because the four amp one does not increase the power of it. It just allows your battery time to last longer, maybe double, you know? Uh, while this is good for walkways and driveways where the leaves aren't impeded by movement, right? It's just a smooth surface. It blows just fine, like a hair dryer would. You know what I mean? But when you're talking about heavy leaves like we have here in the East Coast, and this is not even heavy. This is like, this is like just the beginning of it, you know? I have trouble getting um, leaves out of the crevices here, right? And then when you're impeded by bushes and other grass and other debris, you have to stand there for quite a while just to get each individual leaf out of that area. And then on grass, saying it won't even move this let's go try the other battery see if there's any difference so actually the battery that I was using just before was the four amp one so now here's the two amp one. I'm gonna see if there's any difference. That was a good test actually. It's the same power. I still can't move this brush or this brush. I'm a very impatient guy. I just like to get things done. I don't want to waste too much time, you know? Um, while it's light in weight, right? I have to hold it for a very long time because it's barely moving the leaves on grass. If you're talking about the driveway or a walkway, that might be a different story. But if you're trying to blow leaves on grass, I'm standing here for a long period of time just to move it a few feet, you know what I mean? So uh, while this is an electric uh, item, I am not keen or a fan of electric items, you know. However, I recently did get that DeWalt electric cordless uh, weed whacker, which is very, very strong, you know what I mean? But uh, like I said, I'm comparing this to like a hair dryer, you know what I mean? This would be good for like grandma or something to just get leaves off her driveway if she didn't want to start an electric engine, you know what I mean? But, uh, gas engine. But like you, like I said, on the highest setting, I can't even move this branch. 
and it's difficult to move lead even a few feet. And as you can see from my lawn, it's not even covered much with leaves. So um, this would probably take a long time. So to this do. is what it is. It is a small, very lightweight electric um, leaf blower. And like I said, I think it would be good to blow dust off of a dashboard in your car and some leaves on your driveway or your walkway. But if you wanted to do your entire lawn in the heart of fall, in Long Island, New York, you'll be here for two days with, and you would need, you would require like five battery packs, you know, and your arm would fall off because holding it for that amount of time, regardless of it being two pounds or so, is, uh, it's counterproductive. Uh, it would be unfair to compare this to, let's say, an echo gas one that you can get this for about a hundred and fifty bucks right and then if you wanted to compare it again to let's say a commercial red max EBZ 8050 there's absolutely no comparison you know but just for shits and giggles let's do it anyway Try that branch. Let's try the commercial Red Max blower for landscaping. So while I know it was unfair to compare this to these, right, 
It is a comparison to give you an idea about the amount of power an electric leaf blower is compared to a gas one and also the price of $69.99, what you're getting for $69.99. This thing is about 150 bucks, I think, or more, right? But you can get a comparable gas uh, 25cc leaf blower at Home Depot for about $99, usually a Ryobi or a Home Light, you know? And that's just, you know, $30 more, and you're gonna have something with considerable power compared to this. Now, I will, you know, admit that it is great to lower your carbon footprint for our environment in the future, right? And low emissions, zero emissions actually, right? But if you really wanted to blow your yard from the leaves, it would take you two weeks to do it with this. Plus, your wrist would fall off because you'd be so tired holding it for two weeks. And you'd have to go through five or six batteries, you know what I mean? Yes, gas, you gotta do the mix sometimes, right? and uh, leaks gas, smells, hard to start sometimes if you don't maintain the carburetor and the gas usage and the storage and all that other jazz, right? I understand all that. But when it comes to a guy like me who deals with small engine equipment, right? You'll never convince me otherwise that gas is better than electric. Hey, I'm all for electric and saving the environment. I have solar panels for goodness sakes, you know what I mean? But this is great for your grandma to blow leaves off her stoop uh, or you can give it to your kids to play uh, play with while you you're using this you know uh, as you guys saw from this thing this thing is a beast even when I put it on this wants to spin me right round right round baby right round you know beast I haven't used this in over a year and it fired right up you know nobody's ever gonna convince me that there's a better backpack blower than a Red Max. Nobody's gonna convince me that a 25 to 30 cc hand leaf blower gas is an Echo. This thing always fires up when I want it too, you know what I mean? As long as you store your gas properly, you're gonna have these things fire up no problem. As for this thing, thank you very much for sending it to me. Uh, and uh, I gave it an honest review which is what I do. Uh, I don't sugarcoat anything just because you sent it to me. Uh, in my opinion, like I said, this is good for grandma or your kids to play with. It's a toy. This, this could not be used by uh, even a homeowner who wants to get rid of leaves off their lawn. It's just not strong enough, you know? It would take them forever to do it. Um, I can't say enough about the Red Max though. <laughs> it's just so much fun to use too. But uh, that's my review of the Snapfresh 20 volt electric cordless leaf blower with the four amp battery that was given to me to test. There is no difference in power between the four amp 20 volt battery and the two amp uh, 20 volt battery other than the longevity of its use per charge. That's it. There's no increase in power whatsoever. Um, I don't know what setting one would do. It feels nice when it's hot, you know. You couldn't blow a leaf with it, you know. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers!